हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाई स्पार्क टूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम द सी एस पी फाइल एंड लोड द डेटा इन टू द पार्केट फाइल सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो आई वुड स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड टू वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट आस्क वी आर रिक्वायर टू रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम द सी एस पी फाइल एंड लोड द डेटा इन टू द डेटा फ्रेम so this is the first thing that we have to do the second thing we need to load the data from the data frame and load that data into the parquet file so this is the second thing and the last we are reading the data again from the parquet file and loading that data into the data frame so these three things we have to do so let's start with the first one for reading the data from the csv file and loading that data into data frame so here inside the browser we are under the blob storage of the input container and here under the sales folder we have the sales.csv file so what we have to do we have to read the data from this csv file and load that data into the data frame so we are here inside the databricks workspace and under this notebook so first thing we need to notice this cluster should be up and running so that is running here the second thing we should be having a mount point which will be making the connectivity with your blob storage so mount point is nothing but the bridge between the notebook to your blob storage so first let me check how many available mount points are there so as we have already created the mount point for the input location so we can use the dbutils.fs.mounts so this command will help us to check how many available mount points so this is the mount point that we are having here for the input location now we are required to read the data from the csv file so as we have seen in the last video for reading the data from the csv file we are required to use the spark dot we can use the control space so all the available commands will be popping up here so spark we are going to use the read because we are reading the data so we can use the read command and here we can use either your format or we can also specify if your file is having a special things a special things means if your file is having header then under the option we can specify header as true then we are reading the data from the csv file so we can specify the csv here we need to specify the path so as we have created the mount point with the mnt then input then here we can see we have the folder with the sales so this is the case sense too so make sure you are typing the name correctly and then the file name so this is again sales.csv so we need to specify sales.csv let me try to put this inside a data frame so i am going to call the data frame name as df underscore csv now it is executing so your data frame will be having the values so let me try to check if we are able to load data in this data frame or not so we can use the display command and let me try to execute it so it should be going to display all the available values that we have seen inside the sales.csv file so that we can see sales order id sales order date item code then the name quantity and value so all these are here and we are having total 799 rows so that looks okay so the first thing that we have done for reading the data from the csv file and loading inside the data frame the second ask we need to load the data into the parquet file so we need to load the data from the data frame and for loading the data here we can use the write method so we should be having the write method then here again we can use the option so this option will make sure your file will be containing headers so let me try to use the true of your header so this file again will be having the header now last one here we are going to load the data into the parquet file so we can simply use the parquet and here we can specify the path so i just want to keep the file inside the output location so we can directly use the output then 
specify the cells so let me quickly go here in the output container we should not be having any folder with the name of cells that we can see now let me try to execute it it will be going to execute and loading the data from your data frame to parquet file so the job is completed we can go here and try to refresh it so we should be seeing the sales folder and under this sales folder we should be seeing the parquet file so if you can make it bigger then we should be seeing we have this parquet file so this parquet file is creating at the runtime so we have no control on that we can only specify this folder path and you will be seeing all the data which is available under the parquet file now the second ask is completed we have loaded the data into the parquet file now the last ask we are required to read the data from this parquet file so how we can read it so that again we have to use the spark dot then we can use the read command then dot here let me make sure like your file name is having header and this should be true now here we are going to read the data from the parquet file so we can use the parquet and specify this particular location so we can copy and paste it here let me take this inside a data frame so let me call this as df underscore par for the parquet so now this command executed successfully let me try to see how many records are there so this should be having seven double nine records let me try to execute and we'll see so it is executed and we can see seven double nine rows are here so i hope guys you have understand how we can achieve it so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video